What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I know a lot of people are getting concerned about the crypto market and wondering what the hell is going on. Every single day that you hop on here, there's always something, you know, and it's not just one thing, right? It's not just Terra that falls down 95% or UST that falls down 26%. It's the entire market. We have some that are big gainers, but obviously it's because they're new coins and maybe even some of them are scams, but all of the top 100 coins, you're seeing everything that's falling, everything that's collapsing and people are concerned, people are worried. People are like, hey, Matt, are you selling everything? Because if you're holding on right now, you're losing out on money. And you're absolutely right. If I do hold on right now, I'm losing out on money. So why don't I sell? Well, I have my own strategy. My strategy is not to make those moves, especially in the long term. Um, but we can talk about the markets and talk about what my strategy is going forward. Because no, as maybe the title says, I don't know what I'm calling it yet, because you know it's YouTube, but I'm not selling everything. <clears throat> I'm actually buying a lot more. So I was gonna make a video on uh, Kronos, but I decided to talk about the entire market because as I look into the market, we are now at a lower than $1.3 trillion market cap. That is insane. Um, one, you probably can say $1.3 trillion. It's amazing. Well, understand that we were just recently at over a $2 trillion market cap at like $2.15 or $2.18 trillion market cap. And then, you know, within these last couple of days, we have dropped down significantly. I mean, very, very far with so many different coins, so many different tokens, and it does not look good. So what are we doing right now? <clears throat> Let's go into this detail. Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for more crypto videos just like this one. If you like this content, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know as well. But let's go ahead and dive into this. So we're gonna look at uh, where we are right now in the crypto market. We're gonna see we're down 11.25% and down to $1.27 trillion market cap. This is insane to say how much we have dropped, but you are seeing Bitcoin's dominance that's going up. A lot of altcoins are being hit worse than what is going on with Bitcoin. And you probably see a massive drop in Ethereum over everything else because most likely um, the the position or the currency that holds the most after bitcoin is ethereum you know it's in that one over 100 billion dollar mark one over 100 uh 200 billion dollar mark so we're seeing an, a bitcoin dominance increase of 2.32 percent over the day <clears throat> now if we scroll down here we're going to see things that are trending whether it's trending in a positive way or a negative way and you can see what's trending is you know ust and luna now these i talked about in a previous video as to why they're dropping and and all of that and how they can recover if they can recover but 95 percent for terra luna and 26 percent for ust which is a stable coin so that's always interesting as well a lot of people are worried now about tether and other stable coins but you know we can always talk about that in a different video <clears throat> but if we look at um all of the positions we can see bitcoin is down by six point or five point uh nine nine percent basically six percent over the last seven days 26 percent 28 percent for uh ethereum you're also seeing 9.7 percent and that's exactly what you're seeing you're seeing more of a drop with ethereum than you do with bitcoin and that's why you have that large swing and then you also have altcoins that are dropping quite a bit as well you have bnb that's dropping by 15 percent today down to 271 dollars um, you have XRP that's down to 41 cents, Cardano that's down to 51 cents, Solana $45, Dogecoin is down below 10 cents, down to 8 cents, which is a, a huge buying opportunity. It's down 22% today. You're going to see Polkadot that's down 24%, Avalanche down 33% on the day, right? Shiba Inu down 28% today. It's down below 1,200, which I just put something on Twitter talking about how you can buy 1 billion Shiba Inu tokens now for $12,000. So people that jumped in and bought 1 billion at 2,500, you you basically paid $25,000 and you paid you know $14,000 less um, or you know $13,000 less depending what you're looking at, but. 13,000 or $13,000 more. So you paid so much more 
<clears throat> for your billion than somebody paying a billion right now. But how can you predict this, right? You can't absolutely predict it. Um, Polygon is at 27% down today. You see Kronos that's down 16%. It's down below 20 cents here. Litecoin down 14%. You get the picture. <clears throat> Everything is down a heck of a lot. Now, why are we seeing this? Now, I talk to people about this all the time. And typically when you see certain things in the market um, fall or run or do whatever. It's based on regular movement of, you know, retail traders and big money movers, right? A lot of times you'll see a whale jump in, boom, you know, uh, skyrocket that price. You'll see a bunch of other people follow them. They'll react to it. But when you see the entire market pull back, you see everything in the market completely pull back. And it can really only be one thing institutions that are investing or selling heavily, right? And I have no idea what their motive is behind it. Maybe they're reacting to other institutions. A lot of times you see, you know, certain institutions that are in the know, they will make their moves with heavy volume. And then the people or the institutions that are not in the know will now make those moves based on a reaction <clears throat> from what the other institutions did. Well, now after that, it becomes a trickle effect. You'll have more and more people that react to what's going on above them, right? And it may get to be less and less of a reaction because when it gets to retail traders, it's like, all right, we're already at our lows and a lot of retail traders are ready to buy. But then you have a, you have a couple of people that are still <clears throat> looking at it and like, all right, if this goes down to a certain low, I have to get out. And then they end up risking uh, buying high and selling low. That's not what you want. If you get into that trend, it's not really a good thing. So I do believe that it's institutional volume that's going into this and creating all of this red that we see in the market, a ton of red that's going on. People think that it's just because crypto is dead. Crypto is not dead. It's not the end of crypto. The only people that can make this dead are the investors, right? If people are not investing into these cryptocurrencies, <clears throat> that we believe in, we believe in the use cases behind them, then yes, you can collapse a ton of cryptocurrencies. You can destroy businesses like, you know, crypto.com, if that was the case. You have institutions that decide, you know what, I don't want to be a part of crypto anymore. So they go over to the stock market, right? They get out of their positions. That's what can collapse a, a ton. That's what can collapse all of these tokens, all of these coins. Um, <clears throat> but mainly what we're seeing with this driving force of volume, we're seeing institutions overreact. Right. And um, some of those people also reacting to that as well. Everything that I've seen has been a buying opportunity. You can look at my portfolio. My portfolio is down significantly. Why is it down significantly? Because the entire market is pulling back. It seems like everything is down double digit percents. Um, it looks worse than what the stock market has ever looked like. It, it looks worse than anything that I've seen in the crypto market since investing into it. And I've seen some pretty decent downturns in these last, you know, eight months or so, nine months or so, right? <clears throat> Maybe even more than that. Um, we're getting to a point where it's almost a year at this point where we we were at our highs and we started to really fall down. So it's definitely interesting to me. And I think that's the reason why you can look at inflation, you can look at what's happening in the world, but it's all based on how institutions or uh, people that are holding react. The markets are based off of buying and selling and essentially shorting, right? Buying and selling and shorting and, you know, doing all these extra stuff in order to create volume, right? How do you create that volume? You have people that buy it, you have people that sell it. So if they're making these moves, you have somebody or something or some institution that is selling the position, right? They're selling it in order to decrease the price or to just get out and save themselves, right? So there has to be some sort of reason as to why they decided to attack pretty much everything. And um, we don't really know that. And you could say, you can base it off of inflation, you can base it off of what's happening in the world, you can base it off war or whatever, but we all know that it's just based on the fact that um, institutions, and this is more of a conspiracy theory, I guess, institutions and big money does not want retail traders, regular people to make money. The more money we make, the less that we work for them. That's my, that's my overall thought. You can take it however you want. And some people may think otherwise, but I definitely think that they don't want us making money in any markets. Um, and if we make too much money in any markets, we, we find a way to create sustainable income for ourselves. It won't look good for them because whoever worked their warehouse jobs, whoever work, you know, their standard entry level jobs, whoever work their, um, 
There are jobs where you have to have a bachelor's degree to be a janitor type of thing. Like that's, that's where it's like, okay, you know, we want to create financial freedom and you don't want to give us that financial freedom and you hold all the power because you hold all the money. So anyways, guys, let me know what your opinion is. I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos just like this one. Um, but this looks absolutely deadly. I'm not giving up. I'm not selling everything. So no matter what the title says, I'm not sure what it says, but no matter what the title says, I'm not selling everything. I'm actually buying more. So I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.